2 of the slot port versus arrow port video series. You can check out that first video if you haven't already. Um, in the first video, we basically did a 50% port reduction with the arrow port because that's the whole topic of discussion. Round ports are more efficient, so technically you are able and supposed to downsize them from the area of a square or a slot port because they're more efficient. So you can check that video out. In this one, we're doing a 6-inch arrow port versus that same slot port, so it's pretty much equal area. So now we're going to see the differences when you go from equal area with the arrow port versus slot port. And you can see both these boxes are different size, but that's because the arrow port took up so much more displacement. They're both the same internal net cubic feet, both tuned to 34 hertz, verified with the DATS. So it's pretty as close as you're going to get. So we're going to go through and meter them, see which one's louder. I'm going to test them and see if there's any, you know, sound quality differences, pros and cons. And we'll also do a frequency sweep to see if one maybe hits certain frequencies better than another. But they're both the same subs, same amp, same net cubic feet, same port tuning. So basically the only difference is slot port versus arrow port. And it's essentially everything else is the same. So, and again, that's the whole topic. It's how much can you reduce or should you reduce the port area with an arrow port versus a slot port. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll see how it goes. And here are the exact areas. They're as close as I could get them. Um, I also made an adapter so the arrow port wasn't just hanging out in the wind. It looks pretty nice. But this box, I just slapped it together because I'm probably only gonna use it for this video, but let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> All right, now for the slot board. Okay, so I did notice that even though the port areas are pretty much equal, the round 6-inch port had less pressure, so it almost felt like it was acting like it was a bigger port. The slot port had more port velocity. You can definitely feel it. Well, let's go ahead and get ready for the SPL test now. All right, 20 hertz slot port. Thirty hertz slot port. Forty hertz slot port. Twenty hertz six inch arrow port. 30 hertz, 6 inch arrow port. 40 hertz, 6 inch arrow port. 
Okay, sweep. Volume, everything exactly the same. I'm not going to switch the volume or the level to make it as equal as possible. So here's a sweep on the slot port. Sweep on the six inch arrow port. Okay, so here's the results from the first set of frequency tests. And just so you guys know, if you don't, two decibels is pretty noticeable. And you can see here that the six inch arrow port actually got three and even almost four decibels louder at certain frequencies so it definitely was louder than the slot port of equal or close to equal area so here are the sweep results and again at pretty much all the the metered frequencies the six inch arrow port was louder but i did notice some sound quality differences and some other things um, between the slot port and the arrow port that we'll talk about here now. All right, guys, so that was the testing. I will say right off the bat, during these tests, I did notice that the slot port woofer was cooler. The six inch arrow port woofer got a lot hotter because the sub was unloading more. Because even though the port areas are pretty equal, that six inch port is more efficient, so it's acting like a bigger port than the slot port. So definitely the slot port box stayed cooler. So I think the power handling will be higher on the slot port box versus the arrow port box. And also while the arrow port box was louder, since the sub was unloading more, you lost a lot of transient response and sound quality. The bass kind of was louder, but it sounded more boomy, less articulate, less punchy, a little more sloppy in the six inch arrow port box. Whereas of the slot port box was tight, accurate, not as loud, but overall the sound quality was better with the slot port box. Um, so it just depends on what you are looking for. Do you just want volume and loudness, you know, to hit numbers, or do you want overall sound quality? But the thing is with the slot port, you can make it whatever volume you want. With these arrows, unless you're going to custom make one, they only come in like 3 inch, 4 inch, and 6 inch. Where I think that this sub would have actually done best with a 5 inch arrow port, but unfortunately, there aren't all those options out there when you use an arrow port. So you're kind of limited. Now, I will say if this was a Sundown X series or a, a Scar Z series, something with a mass amount of excursion, this 6 inch arrow port would have probably been fine. But definitely for these mid level subs, I think the 6 inch arrow port was a little bit big. Um, it might have some reliability issues with the sub getting hot over time, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The whole point was to see, um, because the whole topic is aeroports are more efficient, so you're supposed to be able to reduce their size, and actually you're not supposed to make them equal to a rectangle port because the round port is more efficient. So first video, part one, we did about a 50% reduction, and I showed you the results. Now on this video, we're closer to being equal, but you can see the results are not equal. So that does mean that the round arrow ports are more efficient than the rectangular slot ports, because this test was virtually the same area, but you saw big sound quality and big SPL differences. So... And that's kind of what I wanted to get to the bottom of. So technically, these two boxes right here, the 6-inch arrow port is acting like it has way more port area. So in my opinion, I think a good number to reduce an arrow port is about 25 to 35% um, to kind of make it equal. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and making helping you make a decision on which you want to go with a slot port or arrow port and what size the arrow port you want to use when you build an enclosure because there's a lot of speculation and different opinions out there which is why i wanted to do this video and which is why i went to both extremes 
and in the first video 50% reduction the port wasn't even that bad at 50% reduction if you go check out part one so all right guys thanks so much for watching please like and subscribe if you appreciate the work I do on these videos and thanks so much and until next time